How's it going again? I'm back and now um, I've gone ahead and printed a whole variety of objects with that kind of mix I made. I did cut the solution by 50% so um, there's 50% uh, more white in this one than there is in the first one and um, the difference is minimal but it uh, kind of looks a little bit more washed out. This one has obviously got twice as much white in it as the other one and this is the kind of original ones. If you're going to be putting that powder into your white or transparent or whatever it is the more powder you put in there the darker it will get so the change will be more dramatic let's see if you're sitting there holding that one and you're sitting there holding that one still gonna change but at the end of the day you know this one's just gonna be lighter you know they're still gonna have all the changes and stuff so I think it obviously pays to put more in if you want a kind of a dramatic change so here you have a comparison of the heated up versions I'll be honest with you I think the ones that um, are not diluted with white look a little bit better. And now I'm going to do a glow test um, just to heat up both of them to maximum heat with a hairdryer and then we'll see how long uh, it goes for. All right there we go they're pretty warm so uh So I'm going to say about nine-ish minutes but don't forget they're on a very cold bit of glass here so that's obviously probably one of the sources of cooling so if if you're holding them in your hand I'd say they'll probably go up to like 10 or 11 minutes or whatever but either way that's a good average test and as you can see even the one that was cut by 50% with the more white kind of acted the same as the full one so um, it's up to you how much pigment you put in the more you put in the kind of more colorful it will be I guess and that's about it I cut this one a little bit with Tenacious and uh, it looks pretty much identical I mean it looks a bit lighter on camera because for some reason Tenacious kind of goes a bit shiny but maybe that's because I put it in water washable resin because the, the, the base of this was white water washable resin so um, if it goes too shiny you can hit it with a like a tissue or something wipe all that shine off I had to do that to all the kind of little mini skulls because they were well shiny another thing I'd add is if you're gonna be printing larger objects like this you may need to increase your support count especially um, if it's quite a wide object because if not it will just it just basically tears off and you just get left like I did in the last video with this bit it just kind of as it gets to a certain width I try and try to skimp out on the supports and obviously the skulls a lot wider so it just ended up breaking off so um, you won't get away with um, sparse supports doing uh, this stuff because I guess the pigment stops the, the resin from curing so well but I mean the objects are still very strong to the casual observer I mean they're not going to break casually so um but they are a hell of a lot more brittle so uh, they do snap easier if you bend them just thought i'd like to add that in and um if you could be making a large amount of this resin what i'd recommend you do would be to get um a vat of white or your cup or bottle or whatever and then add the pigment to the white until it reaches the desired color and then from there if you want to kind of supposedly make it stronger or whatever i'd add tenacious to your final mix basically to stretch it even further as opposed to adding more white because that will bleach it out so um you can experiment what kind of works best for you but you can't really go wrong un unless you put in way too much pigment in which case you'll block the resin from curing and it just won't work i kind of i did it blind and it all kind of worked all right for me this is the same white that i put it in so okay so that's that this is another one here same thing so yeah, I think it... It does break a little easier, I'll admit. So um, there you have it, it's a little bit more... A little bit more, I said quite a lot more delicate. So um, there you go, be warned, um, obviously you're adding um, stuff to the film, to the resin, so... Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously becoming a little bit weaker but there you go it's still pretty good and it's still totally fine to print with in my opinion so um yeah if you want them to all glow at the same time you can use the hairdryer trick all right see you guys later